It starts with land preparation through harrowing and ploughing, where the field is cleared and rice is planted after determining the amount of water available. Where water is not enough, alternative sources have to be found, lest the effort go to waste. At Zong Rice Farm and Industry, this technology has been employed partly to counter challenges that come with water shortage. So now we can tell you that we already got the, the mature technology to grow in Uganda. And they use this method, we can, uh, we can transform Uganda. Sitting on about 6,000 acres of land, Luera Natural Farm, as it is also known, employs over 1,000 Ugandans at various levels, but mainly as manual workers. At this multi-billion shilling farm, it is a hard work through segmented contractual allocations to various sub-managers. We have to Seed preparation starts with sorting before getting to this nursery bed from where, upon maturity, seedlings are extracted for replanting after 26 days. The rest is a struggle to protect the growing and flowered rice from rodents, pests and birds. It takes their three months, which is equivalent to 90 days. From 90 days, we take two weeks when we are draining the water from the garden. So that process of two weeks is the way the rice get reap fast and the land can get hard where we can get a machine to pass through. Unlike small-scale rice farms, where rice is harvested manually, here it is done using mechanization. He has improved the technology from the sun drying. Now we are using dryers during rainy season. At least it has tried to help us to dry the rice very fast for our customers. Having a final product for consumption and marketing takes grinding and separating husks from the grain, both of which are relevant. For example, at this 69 acre piece of land, laborers are seen applying organic manure, burnt into ashes from rice husks. Geoffrey Okomo is a laborer here who came from Jinja. To him, besides this being a workplace, it is also a learning venture for the youthful labor force. But now I'm skilled. From here, I can also go and open my small, my small skill industry, and I start also managing. This whole venture is an inspiration that drove Chinese turned Ugandan entrepreneur Zong Shuang to invest in rice. In China, we say, uh, give someone fish uh, is uh, better to give them the skill of how to fish in. So that's why I do this, is just to see how to help this country to, uh, uh, to uh, avoid a lot of um, uh, starving, hungry, to feed up them and change their food structure. He has since been joined by Ugandans and other fellow Chinese who describe the initiative as good for the country. Uh, if possible, I want to get uh more area for rice growing so that it can make my dream better and make my life better and make our friend, Uganda friend, get a better life. What Uganda need now is a I don't know knowledge about uh, how to uh, make yourself self-sustainable. So I think farming is one of the methods for, for uh, Uganda to, to sustain by yourself. Rice growing is a lucrative business that has gained recognition across the country, providing employment to people in form of labor. The proprietors look forward to complementing Ugandan government efforts 
of tackling unemployment. Henry Okurut, UBC.